coming out. This is a big week, as you know, for Norman. Norman's going to play in his first PGA Tour event um, next week at the Farmers. Um, he started here at six years old, and if you have the power of the internet and type in your name, you'll find hysterical, hysterical pictures to show how much he's grown. Um, and then we got Tiffany, who's LPGA Tour member, also Pro Kids alum. And if you have Instagram, you probably want to follow her because okay. she is Me too. literally <laughs> You don't post anything. No, so cool kind of what we want to do here is, you know, them talk a little about their Pro Kids experience, what Pro Kids has met, and if any of you guys in the crowd have any questions you want to ask them, there's no silly or bad question. They're all good. Actually, probably the sillier the better. So we'll start off with, um, and you have no, mar no microphone here, Norma, so good luck. Tiff is a professional. She I can know. project, but you're an amateur. So <laughs> if you're in the first two rows, you're in the, the Norman voice zone, maybe. The trick is to get me to talk softer. So. So, we'll even it out. So, oh, you got a microphone? Oh, yes. Yeah, give it to Norman. Yeah. I, need I don't it. need it. I need it. <laughs> so as they set it up for Norman here, is working on his professional craft of uh, interviews. Uh, we'll open up. So Tiff, what was your first memory when you came? So you, Tiffany, if you don't know, was here before the building, before the redo of the golf course, when it was literally just a shack and some mats and I don't even know if you call them greens, um, grass of, that was at some point grass. But what was your first memory when you walked into Pro Kids? Oh man, yeah, you're right. Uh, this big clubhouse wasn't here, so that was actually our clubhouse over there, that little trailer. And I just remember one of my favorite things to do, I was just telling someone about it, was we used to <laughs> grab bags of Cheetos, and put nacho cheese yeah. in it, and crush it up, and then cut a hole in the bottom and just squeeze the paste into our mouth. That was one of my favorite memories, so, believe it or not. Unfortunately, you know you guys have a nutritious element to Pro Kids, so you're not going to request that item coming back in there. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, so Norman, what was your first memory of when you came to Pro Kids and saw it? Um, so I actually came a little later, and this big clubhouse was here, and um, little Norman was very shy at the time. I uh, I moved from Guam, and I was only six years old, and um, I was just intimidated actually by all these people here, and um, I started crying. I think I remember, yeah, um, and it was just very intimidating, but I slowly. Um, made some friends and created some great memories here. Oh, wow. so you get a you get a positive answer. So, so for Tip, for you, you know, you you went here, you started here when you were about what nine or ten? Uh, I think probably twelve. That's well, okay. around when I'll I started there. playing. Nine, so ten, yeah. <laughs> so what if you could put into words what Pro Kids has meant to your development when you went to college or anything? What's the biggest thing you've drawn from Pro Kids? Well, um, honestly, I hadn't played a lot of team golf with the exception of Kids Cup. Um, and so that was probably the first time I realized that I really loved playing competitively. Um, so playing in that team aspect, obviously that carried over to playing at UCLA. Um, but also just the friends that I made here. I still keep in touch with all of them. And um, I probably made some of my best friendships right here on this golf course. And for Norman, so... Uh, well, what is yes. I've never answered yet. Come on, let's go. Uh, now for Norman, you know, same thing. So, you know, you haven't gone to professional golf yet. Tiff is big league and she's already there. You're on your way there. But your transition to college and making new friends and new culture, what did Pro Kids help to kind of prepare you for those kind of challenges? Um, I felt like Pro Kids kind of just, it um, built my character here. So having that strong foundation of, you know, um, being respectful, being responsible, and caring for others really um, set a good foundation to meeting other people and um, making sure that I, I respect them as well and kind of, I guess, I don't know, kind of continuing to be who I was here and kind of just continuing that in my life now. Um, I really hold personality uh, very close to me. Um, golf is very important, but I think it's very important as well to be, you know, a good person and honest and caring. So, can I add something? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's always an add. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, um, just for, like, the kids that are, you know, wanting to play in college and going through the recruiting process, um, it's funny that when my coach at UCLA came to watch me play for the first time, I think it was CIFs or something like that, and I don't think I broke 90. Like, I played really awful, but she said the one thing that she remembered was, when uh, 
one of my competitors lost their ball, I was always the first to go over and help them find it. And she said that spoke so much more about you as a person than what you shot that day because at the end of the day, they can look up your results so they know what you're shooting consistently. But um, when they come out and watch you, they're really looking for those little, little things like respect for your competitor and honesty and integrity and all those things. And, no, and notice here, Tiffany Norman, you got an LPGA Tour player, you got a guy who's going to play a PGA Tour event, walk and cover, and they haven't mentioned anything about golf about pro kids. Now, obviously, we all know pro kids have helped them on the golf course, but right away, the first five or ten minutes about what they talk about pro kids, what it meant to them, is all about off the golf course. And that was really Ernie Wright's vision when he came here, was to use the golf as a hook and education to pay off. You got you know, a college graduate at UCLA, a college student at Oregon, and um, you know Ernie would be really proud to see. So. Any of the kids here have a question for any of these two that is funny or not funny? <laughs> Maybe their favorite animal or... Okay, how about this? What's your favorite hole out here? Oh, Tiff, you've been out here since. Norman, what's your favorite hole? 18. 18? <laughs> all, right. um, all right, so I'm going to kind of end it here. We're going to go on the golf course in a little bit, but I'm going to end it with some funny questions-ish. Um, Kind of rapid fire. I'll kind of alternate. You gotta give me an answer. I don't have like a clock or anything. But, uh, I wrote them it? down, and if I have to delay, it's because I can't read my own handwriting. So uh, we'll start with Norman here. What is the funniest prank you have played on someone, or has been played on you? Um, I prank called my c uh, college golf coach that I was gonna turn pro after I won the <laughs> <laughs> after the Western Am that I won uh, this past summer. All right, so a little context to that. So he won the Western Am, which is one of the majors of amateur golf. Um, he was the first player in 10 years to win the stroke and the match play, and only the 20th in 104 year history. And, you know, the golf world is going crazy this and that. So Norman called his college coach to tell him that he was foregrowing his next year and turning pro, and gave him about dead silence for about 30 seconds to a minute, where I think Casey whimpered. And uh, yeah, so anyway, good story, Norman. <laughs> All right, Tim, if you had to change your name, what would you change it to, and why? Um, I don't know. Probably something like a little bit more intimidating, like Warhammer. Warhammer. <laughs> That's, that would be intimidating. I'd be intimidated. All right, Norman. Jedi Panda. I don't know. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. So Norman, if you could have unlimited supply of anything, what would it be? Um, California burritos. <laughs> and by the way, that's true. Whenever I pick them up at the airport, California burritos in the car. All right, Tiff, if you wrote a book about yourself, what would you name it? What would I name yeah, it? What would the name of the book be? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Sorry Dad. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm not a nurse. All right, here we go. Uh, Norman, what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you in school? Oh. Uh, <laughs> you farted? That was your most... <laughs> I'm actually proud when I did now, but anyway. Uh... I was a cool kid, so I didn't do anything. <laughs> anything but, uh, I don't know. I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. Never voice crack in class. Like, um, talking. No. Alright. Well, then never mind. Alright, Tiff, make your funniest face. <laughs> Please don't make me use that face today. <laughs> All right, next here. Norman, if you were to be a part of any TV sitcom family, what would it be? You mean like? Yeah, like any show, like Friends. friends. You'd be in Friends? Friends. Oh, yeah. These guys know what Friends are? You guys are. <laughs> Dude, by the way, oh, hold on. Come here. This guy is a star. So, anyone watch a Fox San Diego piece? Yeah. yeah. This guy, I was, I wanted to meet him all day. He's in the front end. Dude, you're the man, dude. Rick, good to meet you. Sorry. <laughs> this guy is so hysterical, dude. You're the best. I'm gonna watch you play some today. Sorry. That was my side note. I just got, I saw a star in the front row. I had to stop. Sorry. I got a little star struck. All right. I have a question. All right. You, you have a question? Yes. Dude, you're up. For. Stand up loud and proud. How many hole in ones do you have here? I have about 12 hole in ones here. You two more than me. Oh! <laughs> oh okay. We'll that see. Like we'll see after today. Go down. Down. <laughs> I got two. two. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Oh, we got another question. Oh, we got another. Okay, here we go. Yeah. How many quadruple bogeys have you had? Two too many. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tiff. 
Use one word to describe your computer ability. Limited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Norman, are you a texter or a talker on the phone? Uh, texter. Texter, all right. All right, Tiffany, what show are you currently binge watching? So, um, oh, I'm good. Um, I watch a lot of reruns, like on repeat, so I've been watching a lot of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah. All right, that's a sneaky one. Okay. All right, Norman, fill in the blank. Taylor Swift is... Skinny. <laughs> uh, it's true, though. Both is true. And last question. Oh, go ahead. What you got? What's your favorite Panda. Ooh, good one. You panda too? Oh man, it's a toss up. Like sloth or unicorn. Sloth or unicorn? <laughs> so, yeah, what do you got? How many hole in ones do you have in general? Both of them. Six. 24. Oh my god. Oh, you doubled on here. You're next All right, Tiff. And last question before. Oh, you have a question? No? You're just scratching the back of your head because I called it. What do you got? Oh. My favorite movie? Yeah. Oh, probably Titan. Mean Girls. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Nora? Um, I don't know, Batman's? Uh, Batman. Batman. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Lego Batman. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got, oh, sorry, go ahead. What's the lowest score you guys got? Um, 63. Oh, here we go. 62. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's what a, the high score? Oh, what a chunk, right? <laughs> what do you got? Um, probably Kings Barnes in Scotland, where we played the British Open last okay. year. Pro kids. Pro <laughs> when I'm having fun so I mean especially in the case of golf if you're not having fun then you're not doing it for the right reasons so um, whether it's like maybe you don't want to practice that day but you're excited to go see your friends or um, I feel like your motivation can kind of change throughout your career but just find a way to make it fun and find a way to enjoy it and being motivated will actually be really easy nice. Nice. That's definitely a possible answer right there <laughs> Yeah, I um I agree 100% with that. Um, also, I I stay motivated by always remembering why I started to play golf, and um, never really forgetting the reason. And you kind of get lost, um, you know, if if you start winning tournaments, you know, or if you start struggling. Um, if you always ask why you play this game, then you'll always stay motivated and and know what like you always have a reason to to keep playing What's the to get back. What's the one for you? What's the why for you? Oh, why? Um, why? Because this game is so tough and it teaches you so much and it makes you just such a better person. You know, without this game, I don't think I would have been the person I am today. Yeah. All right. Well, what are you most excited about Farmers next week? Um, probably the crowds. Yeah, I want to see a lot of people there. <laughs> uh, that kind of excites me. You got one question? Yeah. What was the trickiest course you two have ever played? What's the question? Trickiest course you've ever played. I know, I know your answer. I don't know yours. Right? Hardest? Hardest. Just. I know, I played here for the first time like <laughs> four days ago since they made all the changes. And I hit it into that park a couple times. So <laughs> I felt like that was a little the tricky. <laughs> the elevation change got you on five. <laughs> all right. The hardest course I've played is in uh, Oklahoma in Stillwater. It's called Carson Creek. Um, the University uh, of Oklahoma, Oklahoma State University, that's their home course, and that's definitely the hardest course I've played. And then we'll end it with a philosophical question for Tiffany. If you're a vegetarian, can you eat animal crackers? <laughs> First of all, I don't think that would ever happen. <laughs> Second of all, I feel like you should always be able to eat animal crackers. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I'm I can't eat animal crackers right now, though. <laughs> yeah, she walks in with the, the carrots and everything, like a pro athlete showing off. So, so um, I don't know to turn over you guys, but... Um, Any you know, more questions? No okay. more questions. I think we're good.
No, no, yeah. Sure. All right. So, you know, it's a fun day to celebrate golf. We Once again, we appreciate everyone coming out. I know for me, selfishly, and definitely for Norman and his family who grew up here, it's a really special day to come back and start his Farmer's Week at where it all kind of started here in San Diego. To bring Tiffany back, we had to, you know, scrape together the nonprofit fund to afford her appearance fee. Um, <laughs> I think it was, uh, it was, it was surfboard, wa it was surfboard <laughs> wax or something like that. Um, and then, you know, the kids playing before them today, knowing that as you progress, get better and stay motivated, you know, you might be in those later matches in the heavyweight match. And we also hope that you come out and watch Norman and Tiff battle it out. I think I saw on Twitter ask, uh, Tiffany asked for a few strokes, which are not allowed. Four strokes. four strokes aside, I think. Um, not going to happen, Tiffany, so uh, <laughs> good luck. All right. So or one I'll, per I'll, year that I'm older. Yeah, one per, <laughs> so we'll let the Pro Kids staff kind of launch it. Thanks again for letting me have the floor, and everyone, thanks for coming. Enjoy your day out here, Pro Kids. <laughs>